Hey what's up guys, it's Emily and welcome back to my channel. Today it's Monday the 3rd of February 2020 and I'm going to make another weekly vlog for you guys. I have a couple of fun things planned this week so I thought it would be fun to do this. Um, today I have an interview with Omroep Brabant which is the local broadcast of my province I don't really know if that's the correct translation but yeah that's happening today they're going to interview me and make a small video I believe so I just got ready I was sick last week so I'm kind of scared to eat breakfast because I don't want to feel sick during the interview and I also didn't sleep good at all but anyway <laughs> uh, yeah i'm pretty excited for the interview if it's possible i will try to vlog some footage for you guys so you can see um so yeah just a quick intro because i am kind of in a rush but i hope you will enjoy watching Okay, so I decided that I am gonna eat a little bit because I don't know how long it's going to take. So I'm just gonna eat some yogurt. I just switched to my newer camera, so I hope this looks and sounds better. I'm waiting for the interviewer to arrive. They can be here any minute. I'm kind of nervous but that's probably because I don't feel really well and usually I do interviews together and right now I'm all by myself but it's going to be fine. So yeah, just waiting. Die ook. Leuk. Ik ga maar even weer door. Stoere gitaar, zeg. Ja, dankjewel. Maar ik kan me zo voorstellen dat hij daar dan eerste, in eerste instantie uh, zo, uh, zo uitzag. Ja, dat klopt. Ja, kom maar eens even in beeld gelopen. Vertel maar eens even, dit is dan een, uh, dit is weer een nieuw project. Ja, we zijn bezig met mijn nieuwe gitaar. Die uh, liet ik daarnet in de andere ruimte zien. En dit zijn eigenlijk ja, een aantal testjes, omdat ik een soort upgrade wil van mijn vorige gitaar. Even, dan gaan we eens even over jou hebben hoor, want je bent dus van origine weer fotografen. Ja. Je vlogt. Klopt. Uh, je, je zit in de band, speel je gitaar ja. en je maakt ook je eigen gitaar. Hè? Ja, zeker. Wat, wat is het nou voor jou? Wat, wat, wat vind je het belangrijkste? Maar heb je een advies voor mensen die, die dat ook hebben? Heel veel mensen zijn, vinden het natuurlijk eng om op een podium te gaan staan. Of... Ja, ik denk dat je het toch gewoon moet doen, ondanks dat het spannend is. Want het is helemaal niet erg als je zenuwachtig bent of iets spannend vindt. Maar ja, je moet niet altijd alles uit de weg gaan wat spannend is. So the interview is over and it was quite a lot of fun. We filmed the interview over here in the rehearsal room. And we also filmed some clips uh, downstairs at the guitar workshop. I'm really curious how it's going to turn out and apparently it's going online today. The interviewer just left and he's going to edit the video right away. Um, I'm kind of nervous about it because with my videos I can direct them myself um, and this time I cannot and also with written interviews um, I can always check but that's not gonna happen this time, but it was a fun interview, so yeah, let's see how it's going to turn out in a few hours. Hij mag met mijn eigen vlug om op de haven te opzetten. 
Ze dus zit in een death metal band, Sisters of Suffocation. Ze is een van de weinige vrouwen die in de metal scene zit. Haar band bestaat uit drie meiden en twee mannen. En die gitaar waarop ze speelt, die heeft ze ook nog eens zelf gemaakt. Nou, we hebben hier een ruimte ja, waar eigenlijk van alles en nog wat in staat. It was on TV. I didn't know it was gonna be on TV, but it was really cool. I liked the part they did about me, so yeah, really cool. Good morning, it's Tuesday and I stayed over at my sister's house last night. Today we are going to the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. I've been there once or twice before, a long time ago, so I'm really excited to go there again. back home again the museum was really cool i think we spent about one and a half hour in there after that we went to have lunch at the hard rock cafe and i had a really good plant-based burger it was new on the menu apparently and it was really good after that we went to a couple of shops and i bought a shampoo bar at lush still in the packaging well actually my mom bought it for me as a present it's a shampoo bar it's a solid shampoo so it doesn't have any packaging which is great it's just this bar that you rub on your hair and then that's it it smells really good really lemony and actually all the lush products smell so good so yeah i'm gonna take a shower with my new shampoo and after that i have to prepare something that i have to get done for tomorrow but i will talk more about that tomorrow so see you then hi it's wednesday and in about 25 minutes i'm going to my old high school where i used to go when i was young they asked me and a couple of other ex-students um, to come there and give a presentation about myself and what I'm doing and the goal is to inspire the kids that are going to school there now um, so yeah that's really cool I'm pretty excited but also a bit nervous I made my presentation last night because I want to show some photos and I just um, yeah put some keywords in there and I'm now copying it onto my USB so I can take it with me. This is just a few of the sheets I made about my photography and my studies and my band and my channel, my guitar. So yeah, I just did my makeup. I'm going to eat some food and then go. This dog is living the good life. Hey buddy, let's go. I'm here, I just parked my car and I'm now going inside. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to film anything and if it's allowed, but if I can, I will. And if not, I'll be back after.
Okay, so I'm back. It was fun, but I was pretty nervous. I didn't know that there were gonna be two rounds, so I had to give two presentations to two different groups of students. Um, yeah, it was fun. I didn't really film because I was really busy with the presentation. I just got back home. It was pretty fun, but I also was kind of nervous. I wasn't really prepared for the fact that I had to give my TED talk two times. I thought it was just gonna be once, but that's okay then. The second time I just repeated the same thing over again, so that's fine. It was pretty fun to do something like this. I don't think I've done that before. I don't think so. But it was fun to do something different like this this time. And I hope that I inspired some kids with my story. I don't know, but that was the goal. <laughs> um, I'm pretty tired because uh, things like this take quite a lot of my energy, but I'm glad that I did it. So right now I'm just going to eat something because I'm hungry and relax. Maybe play The Sims or something, I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah, that's that. It was pretty cool to do something like this. And I'm also quite honored to be chosen for this because like they could have chosen anyone but I was one of the few people that they asked so that's really cool hi it's Thursday and I just had dinner I totally forgot to vlog but I went to my local favorite snack bar and they started selling more vegetarian snacks which I'm so happy about. I'm trying to figure out the best way to explain this, but there is a Dutch snack called frikandel, and it's really popular, but of course it's made of meat. But now there is a vegetarian version, and I just tried it out for the first time, and it was so good, even better than I dare to hope for. So. I'm so excited and I just wanted to share this with you. They also had a vegetarian croquette and kipcorn, but I'm so excited about the frikandel. So yeah, I just quickly wanted to share this since I'm doing a weekly vlog anyway. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi, it's Friday and I can't stop thinking about the vegetarian frikandel. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to get to get one today as well. Really unhealthy, but fuck it. YOLO. And at least we're not killing animals for the snacks. So yeah. <laughs> It's Saturday and tonight we have a gig in about 40 minutes. I have an appointment with someone who's going to help me build a website for me. Then an hour later I'm going to pick up else and then we're going to pack the merch together and then one hour later we're going to leave to the gig. Making some nice breakfast. the merchandise together and then I have to finish my makeup because 
everything took a little bit longer than I expected but yeah then it's time to go in one and a half hour I think hello living on the edge <laughs> <laughs> Vegetarisch behalve de kakbal. Wat zijn het al? Kies wat het beste is. Eet smakelijk. Eet smakelijk. Fonds is spreading some positive vibes. Uh, waarom ben je dan? Uh. Look at this positive boy. <laughs> Turn this dick into an elephant. Wat ben je? Ik dat je een band speelt. Leuk. Kijk, ah, je komt binnen en je ziet dat met yeah. dat is super. Dat is toch. and today I've been doing all kinds of stuff yesterday I did nothing at all because I was really tired and my neck and back were hurting and yeah the gig was a lot of fun uh, last Saturday it was quite far away I didn't know if I told you that but it was a two hour drive from my home so yeah it ended quite late and then we had to drive back for two more hours so 
when we finally got home it was four o'clock so yeah that's why i was so tired yesterday and didn't end this vlog so this is the end of this vlog i hope you enjoyed watching and that i finally did a weekly vlog again let me know if you'd like to see me do this more often again i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you'll keep up to date on all the new videos that i'm going to upload in the future thank you so much and i'll talk to you guys later bye